plaintiff, Elliot Hall, dated the defendant, and Elliot claims he was a destructive alcoholic who was physically abusive. Elliot claims he broke up with the defendant after he discovered he was cheating, and he's suing him today for a judgment. Defendant Puliava Thompson says Elliot worked as a DJ while they were dating, and it caused a lot of problems in their relationship. Puliava claims Elliot even had a stalker who broke into their home. And he denies owing Elliot for anything. All right, start with you. Okay, um, this is my ex, and we dated for about a year. And during that time, I came to realize that he was abusive physically, verbally. Uh, he destroyed property. He made my mom cry for something that he said. Uh, he was irresponsible, and he was an alcoholic. How often was he abusive? Uh, most of the time, he was abusive when he was drunk. How and he was drunk uh, a couple times a week. And what would you do? You just kind of hoped he would change, or what did you do? Well, I come from a very, very strict Pentecostal upbringing. Mm -hmm. My dad's a pastor, and so is my mom. And um, this was the first time that they had, uh, I guess, put aside their beliefs to try to kind of, you know, show their love toward me and we were together and they embraced him as one of their uh -huh. sons and my uh, parents went and they got their education and mm -hmm. he was there for the graduation and he was he's in the okay. pet, in the pictures and gotcha. they treated him like he was a family member gotcha. and um, because of that you know i did not want to you know run away and and just let it be done got it during that time i came to realize that he was abusive physically verbally uh, he destroyed property he made my mom cry. Plaintiff Elliot Hall dated the defendant, and he claims the defendant was a destructive alcoholic who was physically abusive. How did you all ultimately break up? What happened? Well, what happened was um, I'd put up with a lot of stuff, and um, one day at my day job, I'm a, I'm a flight attendant, um, I had come home from a trip and uh, it was late at night and it was warm. It was summer night and uh, he was extra nice toward me. And uh, I was tired and he turns around. He's wearing a sweater, mind you. And uh, he had hickeys on his neck. That's what I was about to guess. The way you were talking, I said, uh-oh, when you said he had a sweater on, I said, oh, he yeah, had some hickeys. Turtleneck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, <laughs> sir, this, this wasn't high enough. Yeah, he, he wasn't. <laughs> you go try and wear a sweater to cover up to your hickeys. You need a turtleneck, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the reason why I got the picture was because um, I told him he had hickeys on his neck. And he's like, no, I don't. I was like, no, yeah, they're hickeys. And he's like, no. I'm like, no, look, I'm going to show you. So I took a picture of it to show him. And he told me he was carrying something heavy on the back of his head here. <laughs> and it gave him the hickeys. So that was the end of the relationship at that, that point? Yeah, that was right. when it. Let me uh, allow him to uh, give his side before we get into the judgment you're suing for, sir. I'm here today because Elliot's pretty bitter about our breakup. Um, when we got together, he was dating my roommate at the time. So he took interest in me um, after that. We, we, it, everything was good. He's, he, he said you were regularly abusive, you're drunk. Mm -hmm. That true? Absolutely not. All right, you want to defend it at that's all? Not true. Just right. say no, that's your defense? Absolutely not. Uh -huh. um, Elliot's a DJ, so I dealt with a lot in our relationship. Um, I had, we had stalkers. Um, a we DJ all... and a flight attendant. Right. He went to several towns right. every week. Right. And when he wasn't doing that, he was out all night right. DJing. Right. Talking about your hickeys. He got a lot of nerve. Right. Come in at 5 a.m. Ain't that much DJing in the world. Exactly. So... The flight I, was late. He need a new airline if the yeah. flight was late that often, right? Right. <laughs> Go ahead. So he would come up with stories of, of reasons why he, didn't, he never called me back, of things, like, things of that nature. Um, we had a stalker. It was so bad that the stalker came into the house. The stalker also said, oh, I'm, he knocked on the door. I'm here for Elliot. At that point in our relationship, we, we were having rough times because I wasn't working, which is uh, about the hickeys. A gentleman had approached me about a job. Um, he took me out. Um, when we went out to dinner, um, I was in his car after. Uh, he started to engage with me in, in, a, sex, in a sexual manner. Um, but I, I never 
cheated on Elliot the, at all since we've been together. It was just suspicion and it was just him. I know it looks bad, but it was just him uh, going off of what uh, he thinks is things had happened. Your Honor, I'd, I'd furthermore, he, he proved several times he was a liar. Oh, um, I, I wouldn't believe him unless his tongue came notarized. Um, <laughs> let me tell you, he, we, we were having a casual conversation, me, him, and my mother. My mother was talking about how she wanted to go to Africa and how, you know, it's so beautiful there from what she's read. And he says, oh, Africa, I've been there. And my mom's like, what, really? She's like, yeah. And then she says, well, don't you need a passport to go there? He's like, no, you don't need a passport. You just get on a plane. <laughs> I've been there. You been to Africa? I mean... I've been to Africa. What part? Um, I went to West, West Africa. What country? I, I don't remember. It was uh, for a high school program. We did uh, building for books. How old are yeah. you? I'm 27. 10 years ago? Yeah. You don't remember the country you I went don't. to 10 I don't. years ago? You go to different countries on a regular I've basis? I've been to Thailand. I've been to Belize. Why is West Africa the only country you can't remember? <laughs> you I remember was actually, it all though. I mean, you ran a month. I've been all over the world. <laughs> you, you were running but it. When it, come to, a... when it come to West Africa, where they think you're lying is, ah, uh, let me see. <laughs> I can't remember that country. I can remember every other country but the one they say I'm lying about. <laughs> <laughs> That's boo boy, sir. <laughs> all right, tell me what you're suing him about. Your Honor, I'm suing him because um, when we were together, uh, early in our relationship, he had totaled his car in a DUI. Um, I, at the time, had a Mercedes Benz completely paid off in my name, and he expressed that he didn't How'd you get that Benz? It doesn't matter how How'd I got you get it? Benz. I got it. I got it. A friend of mine in L.A. Your friend? A friend of mine in L.A. helped me get the Benz. And it wasn't your sugar daddy? No, he wasn't my sugar daddy. Was he? He was someone that I dated okay. for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What you get from Mr. Hickey? <laughs> <laughs> what you get? Go ahead. To clear that up, the guy was older. At least older. you walked away with a Benz. <laughs> right? <laughs> he walked away with uh, a bruise. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> but me and that gentleman are still friends today, and Move it was on. a relationship that didn't work out. For? Okay, I'm suing him because I, I agreed to uh, get a loan for a vehicle for him. I agreed to go together. When? Um, in August of 2012. Mm -hmm. I agreed to do that with him. Plaintiff Elliot Hall dated the defendant, and he claims the defendant was a destructive alcoholic who was physically abusive. You signed for it, or I you signed, put it in your name? You co-signed? I co-signed co with him. Okay. We were supposed to be on the note together, okay? Mm -hmm. um, long story short, the car gets repossessed, and the bank comes after me for the remainder of the balance of the car, okay? So for the past, I don't know, three years, I've been paying. Uh, they came after me. They had a court date that I couldn't make because I was flying. They sued me for the remainder balance. And since then, I've been paying for that car up until uh, October of this year when my company that I work for thought that the settlement was done. They contacted me again in March, and they said, hey, you still owe, like, $1,100. And just out of my frustration... How does your company know? Well, because my company was the one who was administering the, oh, the they garnishes. Were, you were being Yeah, they were, they were sending you... the money to them because I didn't make the court date and they decided to garnish mm -hmm. me. So I inquire out of frustration. I say, so what happens to the other person who's on this note with me? Because my, my credit score has gone down considerably and I'm paying this. I've been paying this since Your forever. credit score's been down. And so they say to me, um, there's no one else on this car note. Okay. I'm like, how is there no one else on this car note? They're like, well, we have in our notes that apparently it was submitted one time with you and someone else named Puliava, and then the second time it was uh, submitted just with your name. And what do you mean? You had it refinanced or no. submitted within the same transaction? It was submitted days later yeah. just in my name. You have any paperwork? I do have paperwork. Tell me what happened. So we went in, filled out an application. Um, I was denied originally because I didn't have a, a enough credit history. Elliot was physically there when the car was signed for. Mm -hmm. So he's claiming that he wasn't aware of what went on, but that's an absolute lie because you can't physically, once you're denied, the, the gentleman did let us know that I was denied. He, I, I also there, stated, he also stated, he knows about being denied. Let him talk. <laughs> Go ahead, I believe him. Elliot also stated that, oh, okay, it, since he was denied, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and sign for it because it's gonna impact my credit and um, it's gonna be, it's gonna look good for him. So he did that. 
Very good. He did it solely in his name, but it was for your benefit, so why shouldn't you pay him? I shouldn't pay him because it's been so long. If Elliot wanted the payment uh, for the car, then he should have did this a year, like three years ago. There's, there's, he's claiming like, oh, he didn't know his wages were garnished. I think that's absolutely absurd. You know when your wages are garni garnished. You know physically what you signed up for and when you signed up for it. So for you to sit up here and say, oh, you weren't, you weren't aware of anything, it, that's, that's BS. It's BS. When were you informed that it was only in your name? I was informed that it was only in my name three months ago. But the day of. when he got the car, I was out of town on a trip. He gives me a phone call and tells me, hey, they approved the loan. We have the car. Well, his only defense is you should have gone after him then. Had you become aware of his breach three years ago, then he could rightfully use that as a defense and wouldn't have to pay. Um, however, you just became aware of his breach three months ago. Mm -hmm. You believed that it was in both of your names and that you're just waiting, hopefully, that they'll catch him, too. Because when something is in both parties' names and you have a co-signer, they go after both parties, not just the co-signer. And so your assumption could have been, well, I'll just wait till they catch him and they'll stop garnishing me and then they'll start garnishing him. Whatever the circumstance, this is a totally different contract and he wants to sue you because you all had the agreement that it was for your use and that you would pay your part. As such, I'm gonna grant him his judgment, $4,883. Have a good day, judgment for the plaintiff. Uh, I just hope that whoever you are dating now, that you're not as meticulous as you were with me because you thought and planned this whole thing out. I don't want anybody after you, so I'm good. Well, whose Benz were you driving? Last week, I that's saw That's mine. Oh, that's yours? Yeah. I thought you were just a student. I am a student. You've been a student since you were in kindergarten. That's cool. You're 27. Yeah, that's good. Okay. But I'm, I also got into med school, too. So, thank you. There he goes lying again. Thank you. There you go. You Liar. see Riverside Medical School? Look me up, boo. You, Riverside is in Southern California. You that's live in Northern fine. California. That's fine. Liar. I start in Liar. September. Liar. All right.